I can safely say that losing my mum at the age of 12 and therefore shutting down all of my emotions for the last 20 years mm. has had a, a, a quite serious effect on, on not only my personal life, but also my work as well. My way of dealing with it was refusing to ever think about my mum because why, why would that help? It's yeah. only going to make you sad. It's not going to bring her back. All of a sudden, all of this grief that I'd never processed started to come to the forefront. I was like, there's actually a lot of stuff here I need to deal with. But it was 20 years of, of, of not thinking about it and then two years of total chaos. It's a fascinating process for me that I've been through, not just personally, but all of the people that I get to meet. Mm. Um, so fortunate to get to meet these people who have literally turned their lives around. And it's all part of a conversation, being able to talk to a brother, a sister, a parent, a colleague, or a complete stranger. Mm -hmm. And as I'm sure you know, some of the best or the easiest people to speak to is a, is a, is a shrink or whoever, I don't know the mm. Americans call them shrinks, yeah. someone you've never met before. You sit down on the sofa and say, listen, I don't actually need your advice. Can you just listen? Just listen to me. And you just let it all rip. And you've done that, have you? I've done that a couple of times. I'm not <laughs> More surprised. More than a couple of times. <laughs> but it's great.